Hello cruisers, Trent here, and today I welcome you to cruise along with me. This is my first of the bi-weekly updates. Uh, remember, I didn't figure I could really cover enough in my weekly updates, now we're going to be doing these bi-weekly so I can do more other videos, like my interviews, my cruise ship job information, um, my food adventures, maybe some hike adventures, who knows? Just uh, showing off my life and what it's like to work on a cruise ship. It's been a pretty good few weeks here, uh, seeing a whole bunch of new crew, uh, crew members come in, talking with people, finding people that want to be interviewed. So I should have some really cool stuff coming up here shortly. Uh, still working a lot, our department's still understaffed. Our whole ship is pretty understaffed, uh, yeah. Uh, it was a DJ again, DJ and crew bar, DJ T rent, chicka chicka. But, uh, it really, for being two weeks, it really has not been that uh, that insane. Uh, I have been, where was I going with this? Uh, to, oh, uh, cruise ship jobs. Um, as you know, I applied for Virgin Voyages. Uh, they have yet to get back to me. Uh, which could mean, you know, they're holding off, they're trying to find a position, or I did not get the job. Again, Virgin's kind of the top of the top when it comes to what I think a cruise ship would, uh, top of the top when it comes to what I think the best cruise ship company would be to work for. Once I'm on vacation here though, I wanna talk to Carnival, I wanna talk to Royal and uh, Disney. I think those would all be really, really cool cruise ships. Like you'd have, like I've said in the past, and like you've known, I just wanna go international. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I think I'd be able to make some pretty cool videos. And I think if I go international, I would maybe get to just experience what true cruise ship life is like because I work on an American vessel I just don't think it's the full experience and I'd like to at least for a little bit have that full experience uh, what else has happened I went for safety um, I got a new safety role as you know before I was doing PAX drill which basically mean uh, every Saturday when new guests were entering our ship I had to stand out there for two hours in the sun, just scanning their card, explain to them how a uh, life preserver worked or safety vest. And you know, that wasn't really exciting. It was pretty, pretty boring to be honest. So I wanted to go to Lifeboat. With Lifeboat, uh, you have an opportunity to maybe even learn how to drive the Lifeboat. And I think that's just a, uh, a skill set that is maybe a little bit more needed on other cruise ships. And I think that would make me a little bit more versatile in all of that fun stuff and pizzazz. But other than that, uh, it feels like the food on my ship is getting worse. Uh, I don't know why that is. I think we're getting some new cooks. But the crew food has just been terrible lately. It has not been good. It's barely, barely edible. So yeah, it just have, has not been the most amazing food. Uh, next, I was talking to this guest. Uh, we have these groups come onto our ships that basically a company is their tour guide and they bring like 30 people on with them and their job is to organize excursions, make sure everything is going perfect for them and they're basically the main point person for this group. So if you have a bad experience, the tour guide would be going in and kind of fixing it and not you yourself. Well, I was talking to her a lot and just kind of hearing about her job and she gave me her card saying hey if I ever wanted to kind of switch out a cruise ship life she thinks I'd be really good at that she says you're gonna travel all over the world and uh, see a lot of amazing things she says the one downside is side is that you're usually working for groups that are extremely extremely old and the things that you can usually do in these countries are centered around what the group wants to do and a lot of times it's not exciting things like sure you get to go to all these cool places but you're not doing the things that you want to do when you go to those cool places which you know still sounds like an amazing opportunity but I think I'd get jealous if I was traveling to a different country every week and every month and I get there and be like oh we're doing an art gallery which nothing's wrong with art galleries I just think it'd be, you know, I want to see more of the adventurous side of the world and that kind of fun stuff. I, who knows? Uh, it, it may be something I look at in the future. It may not be. But for the two weeks, that is basically, that's basically it. it nothing really too crazy has happened in my life. 
Uh, something I want to start doing is taking just little videos on my phone because obviously I do not carry my camera around with me all the time and taking little videos of just maybe something cool I did that week like a whole bunch of little videos and then throw it at the end of my bi-weekly update so you guys can kind of see you a uncanny cut of what I'm doing in my free time and not just when I'm going out making videos so that could be cool you've seen that once before when I caught a chicken so maybe I will go out and do that. But cruisers, that's it for this bi-weekly update. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Our channel has been growing quite a bit this past month, and I'm really excited to keep on seeing it grow. Uh, keep on letting me know what you want to see. I'm trying to make more interviews. I'm trying to make more cruise ship informational videos just so you all have the resources that you need. But thank you so much for your support, and I will cruise with you next time. Please subscribe to my channel. It will make me feel really special.